Today's Giving Back segment is sponsored by Patterson Legal Group. And we are so excited to be starting a new weekly segment that's giving back to local organizations that are working hard and making our communities better places to live. Each week, our partners at Patterson Legal Group will give a local nonprofit $500 to help them continue their great work. This week, we're proud to spotlight Southwest Youth Athletic Association here in Topeka. Take a look. I'm Tyler Patterson from Patterson Legal Group. This week's Giving Back recipient is the Southwest Youth Athletic Association. Chris, tell us a little bit about your group. We've been in the Topeka area and serving the Topeka area for approximately 50 years. In fact, this will be our 50th season. We have around 150 teams uh, competing every year and we're located right, right next to Washburn Rural High School and we really appreciate your gift. That's awesome. For all your great work, we're excited to give you a check for $500. Thank you very much. Very exciting. And now joining us is Chris Walker with Southwest Youth Athletic Association. Hey, Chris, good morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Well, thanks for being with us. We just saw a video of you getting the $500 check from Patterson Legal Group. What did you think when you first got the call about the donation? Very excited, obviously, and thank you very much for the Patterson Legal Group and the KSNT for putting us on here and allowing us to, to talk a little bit about our, about our organization. I'm really excited. Well, many of us know Southwest Youth Athletic Association for the Ken Berry Baseball League. I know I personally have spent quite a bit of time out at those baseball fields. So talk about the value of baseball and leagues like this and what they provide to our kids. Well, I think uh, especially in times like today, anything that we can do to get our kids or our youth out and involved in something other than sitting on the, t on the couch and watching TV or playing video games is certainly should be supported by the community. Uh, it, it provides lots and lots of opportunity to get involved with other kids their age, uh, show what it's like to be involved in an organization. Uh, and sports, of course, have lots and lots of opportunities to teach kids about the way to, you know, to live life uh, the way adults do. Oh, absolutely. Well, the association started more than 50 years ago with five charter members, which is incredible. How has it grown through the years? Well, word of mouth, obviously, in the in the early years, and uh, there was obviously a need for a baseball league, baseball slash softball league in the west side of town, and so it I think it caught fire, and and community support has been obviously a linchpin to allow for us to be successful. We're you know anywhere from 125 to 150 teams uh, this summer. Hopefully, in the last couple of years, it's been that way. So. We're coordinating, you know, anywhere from 3,000 to 6,000 parents to try and get together and play play ball for their uh, kids for through the summer. So it's a great organization. Well, I know volunteers are pretty key in, in keeping things running smoothly for you. So talk about some of the challenges that you face maintaining the complex and, and really keeping the league running. Well, it, you know, we have staff out there that that uh, mow the grounds and keep the keep the dirt in place, so to speak. But the volunteers really handle the day to day communication between parents, uh, coaches, umpires, uh, grounds crew staff, concession staff. So volunteers really, really are the key. And we've been volunteer from day one. So uh, we're always accepting new volunteers. If anyone's interested, they can certainly contact me off the website and I'd be glad to talk to them about volunteer opportunities. Well, and I'd like to know you, this $500 donation from Patterson Legal Group, how important will that be to the association? Fantastic. It's, uh, you know, typically we use volunteer or donation dollars to uh, pay for scholarships. Uh, we also use them to upkeep some of the grounds. Our, our big, big goal is to improve our high school diamond and our concession stand. Our concession stand has been there since day one. So uh, we're, we're in, in some real need for some support and donations, and, and we really appreciate it. Well, I know the season is getting ready to start up. We're almost out of time, but is it too late for kids to join a team? No, they can still go to our website and sign up and would gladly, if they get signed up before the uh, deadline, they're guaranteed to get up, get put on a team. If they sign up after the deadline, they still may have an opportunity to get on a team. So feel free, please seriously uh, sign up and we'll do everything we can to get your kids involved. All right, Chris, thank you for your time this morning. We wish you a great upcoming